Good morning, uh, it's just after five. Uh, I'm about to leave Cardiff today, uh, but before I do, I thought I'd make one last use of the lovely backdrop for our videos. Um, and also just uh, pass on something else from yesterday's conference. Uh, I had this conversation with a number of uh, delegates. Uh, for those of you that don't know, I, I was here at the CompTIA, uh, which is a IT industry conference and there was about 80 other IT companies here um, represented and a few vendors um, and some security experts and a large part of the focus was on cyber security. Uh, uh, we got on to the subject of passwords and there are a number of, well there were a couple of really good password management tools that we're going to discuss later on the channel. Um, so if you haven't subscribed to the channel, I uh, suggest you do that so you don't miss out on those videos. Um, but uh, it was decided that rather than have a complex password, um, so for example, uh, having to remember whether it's an upper or a lowercase this, or whether it should be, uh, uh, you know, was that a special character, or did I actually use the number five, I can't remember, and things like that. Um, that we don't do that, and, and we don't need to change our passwords half as often as we normally do, if we use passphrases. Now this isn't something that's new, but having heard it at the conference, I can see its merits. So I'll pass this on to you so that you understand exactly what I mean. So for example, we're saying that you'd probably only change your password, say, once a year or, or once every six months. Um, but you would use something uh, like, for example, I might type the sentence, uh, week commencing the 13th of March 2017 I went to Cardiff so that would be uh, capital W hyphen C then a space 13 forward slash 03 forward slash 2017 then the words I went to Cardiff with a capital I obviously capital C for Cardiff full stop thinking about that as a uh, password is actually very long. It's uh, also very complex. There's plenty of bits in it But I got to thinking that if I was only setting a password once every year or once every six months Then I might use a major goal for example uh, Those of us that were in business for ourselves we uh, often set goals so uh, I might say for example my major goal for this year is to weigh 70 kilograms so my major goal this year is to weigh 70 kg uh, with an exclamation or, or, or something else or my major goal this year comma and just to be clear yes you put the spaces between the words you type it as you would type a normal sentence and actually you might think well that's a really long password the reason you think that's a really long password is because you're sitting there trying to remember your passwords if it's a sentence and it's a goal that you're going to use and you're going to type over and over and over again you're going to reaffirm it in here and you're going to get used to typing it and you're going to be able to type it very quickly in a in a matter of days um, and then you'll never forget it uh, because it's your major goal um, I just thought it was a good idea uh, certainly one worth sharing on the channel so um, that's it from Cardiff I'm about to head back to uh, Brentwood uh, all that's left for me to say right now is thanks for taking the time to watch